Hey everybody, it's Keith with Bob CNC. Welcome to Shop Talk. I'm here as always with my best friend Bob. And I'm here as always with my best friend Keith. You always copy me, Bob. Except when you're doing stuff that's really important and then you, <laughs> then you don't do anything like I do. Huh. Yeah, I wonder yeah, we, why. We do things differently, don't we? We, a, a lot. But you know, diversity is a good thing. That's my purpose. Yeah, there you go. I'm here to be diverse. There you go. Well, today we're going to talk about diagnosing home switches, right. which becomes an issue when customers, well, they'll call and they'll say, my machine's not homing. Yeah, so if, if it's not homing, but it's moving around, it could be several things, but this is just one of them. Uh, when you say home the machine, what you're really doing is you're driving the stepper motors to a switch where it's at a physical location right. so the machine knows where it's at. So you're really driving the machine to a known location and then it backs off those switches and then it syncs up with the computers. Right. So the home switches not only have to activate when they're supposed to, but they have to be connected to the correct axis. So this is really the first step in diagnosing and what you're what you're actually discovering is if your home switches have been connected or wired correctly. Right, or they could have a broke wire or another thing that we see sometimes is the mounting screws are too tight on yes. the switch and so it compresses the little plastic switch housing and it doesn't let it open and close. But you'll be able to see this on the screen using yep. UGS. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, we've got it, it set up. We're ready to go. Man, you're awesome. I mean, it's like you knew we were going to do this. <laughs> well, okay. Anyway, so uh, first of all, let's go ahead and look at the UGS screen. Keith is already connected to the CNC. Yep. And you'll see here he's made this window large so that we can see what we need to see. So this is the digital uh, readout. readout window. So it has the digital readouts. But below that, it's going to say the spindle feed and feed rate and some G codes, uh, the mode you're in. But below that, it's going to say alarm. And I'm, you know, we're looking at it right here where it says alarm. It should be in gray. If yours is not in gray, then we, we know we have a problem. But maybe we can figure that out uh, just by going through it. Okay. So let's start with the Z axis. The Z axis home switch is right up here at the top. And you start with that one first because when you're doing homing, that's the first switch to activate. Well, it's actually the first one that activates, but yeah. you could do them in any order, but I don't know why I've always done it in this order. Okay. Well, I've Now just, i got to think about it. Well, no, I was I just... I don't know. Maybe I was I'll giving you a, a logical one. reason. Okay. Well, I don't have one. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with the Z because we want to. Okay. That's a good reason. All right. Too. Yeah. So we're going to hold this home switch. And we're going to look at and, that gray alarm. Yeah. And that's going to switch to alarm. XZ. Now, right. the reason why it's XZ is because the Z is tied to the X2 home switch, which, by the way, is on this side, uh, which is important. Right. So, since they're tied together, it's going to show both X and Z. Now, just a quick explanation because you might be confused, even though you put the machine together and you've read some of the documentation. Right. Once again, go over how it's able to use the same pin to do the X and the Y. Absolutely, X and the Z. That's what I said. Yeah, I know, that's what you said. Well, I did, on it the just, inside. Yeah, it sounded yeah, kind of like came, different. It sounded like a Y, yeah, I heard it. It wasn't, after. it was X, no, Z. it was Z. All right, so notice that after I let it go, it goes back to gray. So again, right. I'll press it, it goes to alarm X, Z, I let it go, uh, it goes back to gray. Now, the Y home switch is right here on the top, Nothing. all the way to the left, Yes. if you're facing it from the front. Correct. All right. So if I'm holding that and I just clicked it, you'll see that it says alarm Y. Yes. Just one axis now. Just yes. alarm Y. I let it go. Goes and back, go to, back gray. to the gray. Now, now I'll go. I want to do X, X1 first. Oh, you haven't done X1 yet. No. Can I do well, X1 first? Go ahead. He's impatient. He's in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, well, I was actually going to do something. You you actually have some responsibility here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I got so pumped. I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. So let's wait till the X1. <laughs> So on this side, same side as the Y, you're going to have the X1, it's going to be in the back here, and you're going to notice that it's going to say alarm X. It's really important that this side just says alarm X. Now Keith is going to do the X2 side, and again it's tied with the Z, so it's going to say alarm XZ. Alright? So if your home switches are not acting this way, your CNC is not going to home correctly. Right. And it needs to home correctly, and you're going to notice if you home correctly 
that you're going to go from alarm state, this great big uh, where it says red, it's alarm, it's going to go to the idle state and it'll turn a different color so that, that you know that you're ready to use your machine. Right. So uh, that's all we really have for uh, homing diagnosing or diagnosing home switches. If yours is not working correctly, make sure that you're connected to the right pins on the back, right, which is in the manual and also uh, Kristen will put a link down there where Keith has written a, a blog or a uh, article about this right. so that you'll be able to diagnose it. So with that, uh, we'll talk to you next time. We hope so. We'll see you then, guys.